What is up everybody and welcome back to Walt Knots for another day here in the Yarn Dungeon where today I am going to be creating some more creepy crochet plushies. I've kind of been on a kick of that lately and I don't know if it's just summer ween. I've been really feeling the Beetlejuice vibes lately. It's just a combination probably of both and all. Yeah, it all started with this one right here, which was the ice cream cone and I made it Beetlejuice themed. Loved it, had to have it, need more. I went back to Made by Jody 666 site because there are just so many creepy plushies over there. It's ridiculous how fantastic they all are. I'm not even gonna lie. I have a super long list of plushies that I wanna work through by the end of summer ween. Am I gonna finish up that list? I mean, I hope so, but let's be realistic. Probably not. We're gonna have a good long run of some creepy be plushies here. Scrolling through all the amazing ones and this one just jumped out at me. I was like, okay, we're feeling Beetlejuice. I don't know that this is a Beetlejuice inspired type of pattern, but it's way too perfect to pass up and I had to do it. These shrunken head plushies. I can't. As I'm looking at it, I'm like, oh my gosh, I need this. I know exactly where I want to hang these up for decor. It's just going to be so perfect. I would love to make all three. That's how they have them shown right here. So three would be great. We'll see how far we get today. But let's just go in it with positive spooky vibes. I got this. I can make all three. I will definitely need some coffee for this, but let's start off by what am I going to need to grab? There's a couple of different parts to make. Obviously, we have the shrunken head, all of the hair, the eyeballs, and the the lips and there's a little bit of stitching. So there's a little variation of colors here. So this is the colors that they're showing. And I already know the perfect yarn. I have it right here. I actually have a ton of it. So if you are in to hang out with me for the entire day, let's do this. Let's grab some coffee first though, before we get started. Had to grab my Beetlejuice cup as well. Handbook for the recently deceased. I guess I really didn't even need a yarn bowl for this. This is impeccable yarn and it pulls right from the middle, but just for holding it, I think I'm gonna put it in there. It's 100% acrylic, wound really tightly, and I find that there are a lot of different colors in this line, and I haven't really come up to any problems with them so far when it comes to plushies. Where are we starting? I'm gonna imagine that we're starting by making the head part. Yes, I am gonna use this, this purple, I'm gonna use for the hair. Oh, I do need to grab white too. I did not do a great job of collecting all my materials. That's okay. We'll get there. I don't actually have a Beetlejuice themed stitch marker, which is kind of crazy because I love collecting stitch markers. I've learned this the hard way so many times, but if they give you stitch countings, definitely count and recount that you have the exact same stitch, especially when you're going in the round. Maybe it's just me, but I have definitely miscounted and my circle ends up looking kind of not like a circle, I guess. I'm gonna start to like build up the sides of the shrunken head. So this is the size that we're gonna be working with. It's not gonna get any bigger, like width-wise. There we go. This is the width that we're gonna have for the shrunken head. I have actually lost one of my favorite stitch counters, which is the one that is a ring. How I lost it, yeah, I have no idea. It's hoping that it's just somewhere hidden in the yarn dungeon, underneath some sort of yarn or in a pile of patterns. It's been a couple weeks now that I haven't seen it, so not very hopeful about it. lot of decreases in a row. I always get really nervous when I do that because my tension is naturally super loose. So sometimes my decreases can be 
a little on the big side and I have to like go back and do them. I only had to do a couple of them over though. Otherwise, this is looking so freaking cool. Now I'm to a point where it says I need to stuff it, which agree, there is just like a tiny little space. I just threw in a wax melt that smells like Fruity Pebble marshmallow bars. I want my yarn dungeon to smell like nothing else ever. I'm gonna make sure I don't stuff that stitch in there and or risk overstuffing because I often do that. I think we're good. Like, I don't think that's too bad. Here it says I'm supposed to stuff this but I think I may have actually made this too tight because I don't know that a lot of stuffing is going to fit in here. Okay, this is just too fantastic. I love this so much. This gently stuff and then close it up. We'll see if I can get any in here. I might have been way too much actually. Yeah, I'm going to go with way too much. Oh, I think that looks pretty good, right? Not too bad. It has to be the best part about making stuffies as compared to making like cardigans and things like that. The end weaving process is so much easier. There is the finished head. Wait, which side? Okay, this side is the front. And I think we're going to do the eyeballs next.
My obsession with stuffies is getting to be unreal at this point, but they're just so much fun and you can work it out so quickly. I did end up traveling with this project a little bit and so I busted out this bag, which was the Bath and Body Works bag from last year. Bats on the back, bats on the front, and everything is glow in the dark. Who doesn't like glow in the dark totes? But I was able to fit everything in here. This is even including the stuffing, look at that. And I have my hook in the bottom of here already. I'm not even sure how big this tote actually is. Fit this entire project and I just kind of kept it in my car so as I was traveling or shopping for Halloween home decor it was just in my car ready to go eventually I will do 12 of these that's kind of what I think will look nice on one wall drape wise so I have a nice start to it at least and I will be continuing with this same color combo and there's so many different ways that you could decorate it with it too if you have a Halloween tree these would look awesome hanging on there just tie all the hair pieces together put a hook through it obviously garland you could hang it on the doorknob really there's so many different ways if you have something in mind that you're like yes this would be great please let me know as well I'm gonna do the garland but I am totally up for anything else because I want to make as many as possible all right ghouls but that's it for today so again this is a pattern that is by made by Jody 666 it is linked down below you can go ahead and snag your copy to make your very own shrunken heads for the Halloween season and on Honestly, let's be honest. It's definitely decor that is necessary in the yarn dungeon 24 7 So thanks for hanging out with me. Have a fantastically spooky rest of your day, and I will see you in my next video Bye.